What's up, everybody? This is Dallas. Welcome here to another Bible reading. I know it's Monday and not Sunday. Um, I, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot yesterday. Just so much going on, and uh, and uh, I know it's no excuse, but just a lot of stuff going on. But uh, this is uh, Genesis. This is chapter one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and a void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first days. First day. Then God said, Let there be a firmament uh, in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And thus, God. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, so the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and gathering together of the water of the waters he called the seas and god saw that it was good and god said let the earth bring forth grass the herb that yields seed in the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind whose seed is in itself on the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass the herb that yields seed according to it according to its kind and the tree that yields fruit, those seed in itself according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. Let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God said, set them in the firmament of heavens, of the heavens to give light on the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters abund with abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with, with, with which the waters abundant according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. God said, Let the earth bring forth a living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing, creeping thing and beasts of and beast of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth on the earth according to its kind. God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image according to Make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish, the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over the creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds, of the air, over every living thing that m moves on the earth. God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree those whose fruit yields seeds to you it shall be for food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Alright y'all, that was um, Genesis chapter 1. 
we're gonna read a little bit of genesis uh on this one here i know we're jumping back and forth a lot guys i know that but i just want to know just, i like reading the bible i think it's really cool i think it's interesting and it's a lot of th- a lot of things to learn so we're jumping from the old testament new testament old testament new testament stuff like that all right but uh, i really hope everyone you're having a great day but as always stay awesome god bless peace out